Vamos a ver cómo pesa el sol a su novia en la tierra y cómo se colorean al verlo todas toditas las fresas. Vamos a ver cómo pesa el sol a su novia en la tierra y cómo se colorean al verlo todas toditas las fresas. La, 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 la. Alicante is a city of color. It is blue and white. Blue because on its eastern side is the sea white because it is surrounded like a shawl on top of her shoulders by the desert. And I was born here. Here I learned to see the life within the sea. I learned to measure the strength of the sun. I learned to understand the tides. And here I learned to swim and to swim as far as I could, far away where I couldn't hear any longer the waves bathing the shore. I could dream that I was a fish. I could dream that I could live on top of this sea. And it is from this blue and white, from this desert and this sea, that I learned the words that now I give children through my poetry. And here is where I learn all the words of the folklore, where I learn the proverbs from my mother, where I learn all the roots of being Hispanic. But one day when I was 16, I left and I went to live to Trenton, Michigan. From there, I went to Boston, Massachusetts, two very different cities from this sea, from this sun, from this warm weather. And now I live in San Francisco, California. And uh, when now I visit Laredo, Texas, or I visit Miami in Florida, or Phoenix in Arizona, and I see that uh, the parents and the children with whom I talk know the same proverbs, know the same songs, I realize that what I learned here belongs to the same culture, Latino culture. Pimpon. Es un muñeco muy lindo de cartón Se lava la carita con agua y con jabón Hay pimpón, hay pimpón, tan bonito y juguetón Hay pimpón, hay pimpón, en la pompa de jabón My name is Francisca Isabel Campoy Coronado It's a very long name, like often in Hispanic families we do have Francisca is my grandmother's name it, my mother wanted me to have her mother's name. Isabel was chosen by my father. Uh, he taught me how to read and write, and he gave me the biographies of many famous women called Isabel, so that I would learn through their lives the meaning of the word freedom. Campoy is my father's last name, and Coronado is my mother's last name. Here in, in our country, we use both uh, last names, Campoy and Coronado, and I am very proud to have with me the history of my family and my people. Familia, familia, ella conmigo y yo adelante. Familia, familia, ella conmigo y yo adelante. Adelante a cruzar los puentes, adelante a cruzar los puentes. Que nos abra mundos, que nos abra mundos y un nuevo horizonte, y un nuevo horizonte. Familia, 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 familia. Many things have changed in Alicante, but uh, still the same buildings, the same people sometimes. I come as often as I can to visit my family, and uh, I like to walk past my schools, and uh, often I remember some of the beautiful stories that happened there. 
For example, I remember that my primary school teacher, la señorita Monsonis, used to give me books to read to my friends while they were sewing. She knew that I preferred to read than to sew, and she put in my hands the most beautiful books to read aloud to my friends. Those books left a very deep impression in my life. Both my primary school and my high school were just two streets away from home. And my father was a teacher of English in this high school, so my brothers, my sisters and myself always left home at the same time. We all left home at the same time, but we did not reach our class at the same time because there was a context among us that was who was going to get all the way up those 245 steps every morning and get first to class. There are wonderful stories written on those steps. Aquí vivimos. cantarte una canción de hermana hermano de orgullo y amor aquí vivimos aquí aprendemos aquí soñamos tanto tú como yo tú no eres latino pero hablas español yo hablo tu lengua somos amigos, iguales tú y yo. Like in Mexico, where Zapotec and Spanish live together in the city of Oaxaca, or like in Paraguay, where Guarani and Spanish are spoken, in my city we speak two languages, Catalan and Spanish. And there was a time in which the language of Catalan was forbidden to be spoken and taught in schools. Children speaking only only Catalan came to schools not knowing what they were being asked or taught and having to pass examinations in Spanish, a language they did not understand. Many of these children did very poorly and teachers used to think that they were at the bottom of the uh, school, at the bottom of the class because they didn't know uh, what they were saying. Uh, it came a point in which uh, all of this changed but for many of those children, uh, their lives change radically. Now that we are at the beginning of the 21st century, I think that we all need to know more than one language. I defend uh, speaking more than one language, perhaps because I learned uh, at least three or four without many efforts, without uh, having to really make myself aware that I was learning languages just because they were in the atmosphere, just because I learned them from very early on. Um, but I think that uh, it is going to be necessary for educational purposes, for living closer in a global community, and especially because in the workforce, we all are going to need more than one language. Abuelita, quiero hablar como tú. Abuelita, quiero hablar como tú. Abuela, te siento, quiero hablar como tú. Para decirte muy que 